I was just about to leave for a function when quite some interesting news just came in. So, Waihiga Mwaure of Agano Party has just conceded defeat on national TV. But in his concession speech, I noticed four things that I want to just run through before I give you a chance to watch the video for yourself. So, actually three, not four. So the first thing is this. Waihiga Mwaure clearly stated that William Ruto has won the election. Number two, he urged the IEBC to stand firm and to declare the winner correctly, possibly due to the ongoing protests at Bomas. Number three, he offered to work with William Ruto on the basis that their manifesto had common ground to be specific Christianity. But let me not hold you back, just hear from the man himself before we analyze further. Here's the party leader of Agano, David Moure. This we are doing after seeing what our performance has been and after deep discussions with our teams in BOMAS and consulting widely. We have also with our team been following the ongoing exercise at BOMAS and indicate that the figures there are and have consistently and undoubtedly been in favor of His Excellency Dr. William Samoe Ruto, the current serving Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. We have also with our team been following the activities taking place in Bomas and point out that there appears a well choreographed plan to interfere with the verification process and the results. And we call for a stop to this by all those who are trying to do that. As we concede, which we hereby do, we want to thank our families, our secretariat, our campaign team, and all those who voted and prayed for us. They did not just pray, but they voted. Also, as we concede, we wish to call on IBC to be firm and steadfast and resolute on its task and mandate and announce the leading winner of the presidential election when that time, in their considered opinion, comes. As we concede, we also endorse the winning trend and the person of His Excellency, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, as the leading candidate, and urge IEBC to be vivant in declaring his win when it is time to do so. On our part, my running mate and I, we hereby indicate that we will collaborate with His Excellency, the Deputy President, and support him. Not just because he is winning, but also because his manifesto and his many campaign promises agree with ours. Key among those that agree with us, we agree with him on the need to ensure Kenya remains a God-fearing nation. We also agree with him on his pursuit to ensure that freedom of worship for all faiths is maintained. So let's delve into this matter. Why did Waihiga Maure give the kind of concession speech that he gave? Because it was actually laced with some hidden messages. The first message he had was quite obvious. He made sure it was as black and white as possible for any and all to see and hear that William Ruto has won the election. And that makes him the first politician outside of the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition to acknowledge that William Ruto has won the election, all right? Now, the second reason why Waihiga Maure could have given this kind of concession speech is to land himself a government job. Now, I noticed, and I'm sure you did too, that he said he is willing to work with William Ruto. Now, the truth of the matter is, if William Ruto is in government and you yourself, you are outside government, how are you ever going to work with him? The only way you work together is if you're both in government. So it's kind of like 
dangling something out there like hey i support you i'll be the first to endorse you publicly and hey i'm saying i'm willing to work with you i believe in your manifesto if there's a spot there's a chance do consider me so i believe he's looking to work with william ruto in his government and it'll be very interesting to see i think he might just land a job let's wait and see the third reason was probably to urge the ibc to do the right thing there is so much pressure on the IEBC right now to manipulate the numbers for Fula Chibukati to come out and give a name that is not actually meant to be given on that platform. And Wahiga Mori is basically saying, stand firm, do what is right. And for obvious reasons, we've all seen what's going on at Bomas or was for that matter because all the politicians were kicked out. We literally saw people shout at IEBC officials and the security personnel on the ground. We have even seen people accosting IBC officials and cornering them in uh, the hallways of bombers, demanding that they open certain rooms. <laughs> And we also have people who are stealing devices at the bombers of Kenya. There's a lady, there's a guy who stole a device from an IEBC official, passed it off to a lady, and the lady dashed off in correlation with the guard. The guard even opened the gate for her to leave. Just watch this. A lot of our viewers are saying, uh, allow the IBC to finish its work yeah. uh, and maintain uh, peace and decorum at all times, especially at, at the Bomas of Kenya, as the whole country and the world is watching. watching. And that's an interesting perspective that Kakai Kissinger is bringing up, and I'd like to hear his thoughts on this. I know now he's watching. Because we, we've all seen those fracas there. Can they say that our process... Yeah. I'm not sure if it's an agent or a tag. And that, that person has a tag, so yeah. they have a connotation. I mean, they're holding on, they're holding on to something, but if the ladies are dragging him out, they're... <laughs> there's a lot going on there. You, you know, you can't can we see who that is from the, where we are? We can't really see. Really see. And so I'm not sure, although I thought wow. she's, she's also waiting for her in Nairobi. Declaration. So after all that, where Higa Mori is just saying, stand firm, do what's right. I have tabulated the numbers I've lost, I'm conceding. But much as I've done the numbers and I know I've lost, I also know who's won and I'm going to come out and say it publicly. Now, one thing I'm really curious about, I wonder if if Wahiga Moura, Moure failed to come out as the first person to concede and George Wajakoya had that platform, would he have acknowledged William Ruto as the victor or would he have acknowledged Raila Odinga? So perhaps it's another reason why Wahiga Moure had to come out first to prevent any other crazy outcome that in his mind and in, according to his numbers are not correct. But um, those are just my opinions. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. So um, just comment down below. And also, as I close this video, I'd just like to add you. Uh, subscribe at David Ofula on YouTube. If you're already there, just hit the subscribe button. But if you're watching from a different platform, because I came to notice there are guys who will download my videos and post it anywhere else. And I'm okay with that. I barely have a problem. If that's the case, you're watching from TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. I'll be the first one to pop up, hit the sub button, and this is what we cover basically all day, every day, politics. And um, I wish you all a great day. Let's see if uh, let's see if George Ojakoya will also be conceding anytime soon. He really ought to, at 0.4%. Uh, he needs to come out and do it now. There's no way one of the two front runners will concede before you when you're at below one percent. So um that's it for today. Adios.